Hi everyone, I hope you all this is Coins Kid. Just gonna dive into XLP once again. Thank you for support. Okay, big up the Coins Kid crew. Hope you had a good weekend, hope you have a good week moving forward. So just want to say thank you to getting me to 100 k followers on Twitter and thank you, you know, for your subscription on YouTube as well and all the Patreons. Thank you. So amazing, amazing community we built here. You know, I did do I do tweets all the time on Twitter, so do definitely check me out on Twitter. I made this post uh, yesterday. I have spotted a huge bearish pattern on Bitcoin, constantly running into the weekly 55 EMA, putting in lower lows and lower highs. Oh wait the charts inverted so you know technically this looks really really bearish doesn't it really bearish constantly running to resistance and you're rolling well actually no this is an inverted chart so you can see actually you are relatively bullish and if you bounce off that level of resistance just there and roll over you're going to come to 107k so it's just a little bit of a uh, you know a bit of fun there and an inverted chart this actually went a little bit viral 3.1k uh, lights which is amazing and again thank you for your support so let's just take a look at xrp because i think at the xrp at the minute you know it's doing something it's done uh way back there in july i think it was it's, it's printed a very similar fractal before an explosive breakout so we'll have a look at this so with xrp then on the four hourly time frame you can see that you ran into this resistance just there you ran into the four hour 55 just there and you're coming back and you're holding this support line okay this is sending support line at the moment where you're coiling up inside an apex look how close you get to this apex so you have got some kind of break that's coming soon obviously if you do start to come up here i would imagine you're going to come to these levels and retest this level of resistance like i said to you if you can start to come up here and do that you break out and close above that golden ratio just there then you're creating a high probability of starting to come upstairs breaking this key level of resistance just there you know and starting to attack them highs and i do think at that point you're going to see an explosive growth to that white line get the close above it boom you're looking at an explosive growth for, uh, for xrp you know worst case scenario is that the market shits to bed again you're fully aware it can do this if you do start to lose this key level support just there that you can see you you're holding just there you see this key level support in an ascending triangle which is a bullish reversal pattern by the way if you do start to lose it because obviously anything can happen if you do start to lose it then you'll come down and i think you'll be retesting these lows right here okay and you're looking at some kind of larger kind of drawn out w bottom pattern instead of breaking out this key level resistance and coming up here immediately you know and, and the level of consolidation is just long and drawn out but there is something right here i'm going to show you in the charts which is sort of mirroring something that we've done before so i'm going to show you this that potentially right now you know th this could be the last sort of shake out this event here before we do start to break out and we do start to come up here you know the ultimate bullish scenario right there okay and uh, equally you know if you do start to see a massive role here for xrp then just come to your charts and put some cheeky bids look at the enormous level of support here off this wick okay the, the, the amount of support the buy up just there for xrp so you've got like a horde of people down here waiting to buy up because this is what these wicks represent okay so if you was to see a roll again i mean look at that amazing amazing opportunity off that 5-0 which i gave you as a rolling okay if you do start to see that put some cheeky bids on that white line and you'll be fruitful uh, moving forward so here on the weekly time frame for xrp i did say to you that we wanted to see the close above that red line and unfortunately we didn't get that okay we did not get that close above that red line i mean look at that that's you know awful really isn't it that's terrible look at how close it was to getting the close above the, the the weekly 55 ema now you know if you start to hit your head on this and you start closing underneath this level of resistance constantly then you're coming down basically and you're coming down to another key level support which technically would be down here wouldn't it you know because you can see on the on the fibs here you come between the gold ratio and the 050 and like i said you coil up like this and then come back upstairs this is a key level support just there lose this you're entering a bear market okay but the precursor to doing that is if you do start to hit your head on the 55 anytime you start to hit your head constantly like this and roll you know it's a precursor to a bear market losing the 55 on the weekly because the more zoomed out you are the more uh, substance it has basically but what i want to show you is this this particular event which is unfortunate to get the close below it okay this week we did want to see the close above because like i said to you get the close above you know green that out above and then you're going to hold that support and you're going to start attacking this yellow line and like i said get back up with that yellow and hold it you're retesting that white line up there you know that key level resistance and you're looking at a lovely impulsive break but you know we have got this close here so it's quite a negative thing but but this has happened before and i'm going to show you exactly where okay in this whopping correction when when xrp was being driven into the floor just there i mean a lot of people are really really bullish okay look at this particular event so here we've got the close above the 55 two weeks on the trot uh, below the 55 sorry two weeks on the trot we did exactly the same just here okay for xrp we rolled over okay and we came down to this key level support just there and we got the close below that 55 and then we closed again below the 55 but the very next week we start to come back up and this is where we broke out okay and like i said to you 
came back and we got the close above that yellow line just there which was amazing and with that you put that impulsive break do you see that and like i said to you just there you know that that was a beautiful impulsive break and i give you all the targets on that as well you know and at that point you know th this potentially could be happening again here if we look for xrp we could have started the week a bit a bit naff here but we could actually end the week quite powerful and strong because it's mirroring this particular fractal here for xrp where you've been sort of driven into the floor okay you're under the 55 ema you close under it you've got two weeks closing under it you know and everyone thinks oh shit you're rolling even more and then you start to pick up okay and if you can look here you're doing something very very similar to this fractal here where you're closing under the 55 under the 55 so potentially this week here given the fact that you run into a kilo resistance at the moment coiling up in an ascending triangle you could actually be on the verge of breaking out here for xrp that's what i'm trying to convey to you okay and you could be about to put in some kind of upside like that this week and a huge impulse coming back up to that yellow line which is a 20 close a week above it hold like you did here there and then literally the next week you're looking at explosive break which would see that explosive break there mirroring this fractal basically in a higher low do you see that and look at the wick below so you know you're not completely in the floor yet we're not completely in a bear market is what i'm trying to say so this particular week is really really important if we can carry out the same fractal as that do you understand that that's basically xrp you know your kilo resistance there 84 cents get the close above it get the close above this 55 as well on the weekly start to come up and attack this yellow line which is a 20 you start to close above that like you did there boom you're looking at an impulsive break and with that impulsive break you know you're breaking out here you're taking out that high and you're looking at four dollars 50 uh, for xrp you know and, and this fear like i said to you this fear that comes around not so often always offers a, f a fantastic opportunity for xrp it doesn't feel like it you know and bear markets they don't feel like it as well but when you're in the bear and you're in the floor they are the optimal entry points okay that's what i said to you fear by fear by blood by depression and basically that's what you get at the moment with xrp aren't you so yeah i hope you enjoyed that quick little update stay healthy stay strong stay tuned take care everyone back tomorrow with another xrp update